something from the sun. My sunscreen of choice is Lumisol. Yes, there it is in the box. This is a great product, SPF 50. So simple to use because you got to reapply and just kind of put it on. It goes over makeup. It works great. Protect yourself from the sun with Lumisol. All right, today, first of all, thanks for watching the YouTube channel. Uh, it is in the dermatology office with Caitlyn Jenner, yeah. Um, I get checkups often, um, and so I gotta run into Beverly Hills, get a checkup, but the reason I'm getting the checkup is I've always had this little problem right here with basal cell carcinomas, and I don't know, for the last few days, it's been getting a little bit red, and it's kind of scaring me. And plus we'll do a couple other little things. I got a couple of little white heads. But anyway, we're gonna go to the Beverly Hills early morning, go to the dermatology office. So let's get in the car and let's get it going. All right, got my Starbucks. Yay! We can make the long drive into Beverly Hills. Okay, it wasn't easy, but I made it to the doctor's office. I gotta wear masks, temperature. I had to call downstairs to have them come and get me in the elevator. My God, what do you have to go through today? Just to have them look at a few things. It's... But anyway, I think I passed. Temperature's good. And now we're gonna have him kind of check out the nose. The top of my head right there, which is a lot of sun exposure. You know, when I was a kid, I never wore sunscreen. I grew up and my gosh, that was outside my entire life. And uh, anyway, and so unfortunately I'm paying the price now. So I just got to keep a good eye on all the little spots. So that's why I'm in here to see Dr. Lancer. Now, why Dr. Lancer? When I was looking for a dermatologist, who did I call? Yes, Kimberly. <laughs> Kimberly, I, I figured she would know the best dermatologist. And uh, so I called her and she said, you gotta go to Dr. Lancer. So anyway, I've been going to him for about probably the last three years, four years, checking out on all the little things. And uh, anyway, uh, cause Kimberly Haddock has perfect skin. Yeah. So anyway, that's what we're doing in here. This is good, they actually let me take my stupid mask off. But anyway, I'm safe. Um, anyway, we're gonna have him look at my little nose right there. That's the little red spot. Gotta keep a close eye on that, yeah. Look who has come into the office, the great one. <laughs> Dr. Lancer, good to see you. I haven't seen you in a while. Where have you been hiding? Uh, Malibu, where's everybody Malibu. been hiding? Yeah, yeah. I've been hiding in Malibu. It's been kind of tough. You know, it's funny. Yeah. Everybody's been hiding somewhere. Yeah, everybody's been hiding. How long were you down? Close. Seven weeks. Oh. Voluntarily down for seven weeks because it was socially appropriate. Oh, you are socially appropriate. Well, you know, you got to take care for me. Yeah, <laughs> you, you got to take care of your skin. Yeah. Well, welcome to my YouTube right. channel. This is, oh, is this, this is exciting. Is this, this is, it? Whoa. Yes. Hello. Yes. Hello, Hello everybody. Hello. Dr. Lancer. Yes. Reason I came back. Uh, first of yeah. all, some of the things on the top of the head, yeah. which are you know kind of normal, good old sun damage, and our little place right here uh, on the old nose. Um, I noticed over the last couple of weeks, it's um, got a little red. And I thought, you know what? This is the kind of this little place that we got to look at. Let's see. All right. Go check it out. Okay. Let me see. Where was the problem before? I can't even remember. Right. It was right here. Now, years ago, I had it all cut out. You know, the basal yeah. cell. Had yeah. it all cut out. And uh, they had to take all the skin off my nose and redo my nose. I don't want to go there. Then it got a little bit, probably three years ago, four years ago, you gave me that cream yeah. and we put it on and uh, my nose blew up. I looked like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And uh, I'm just wondering if it's slowly coming back. 
Well, I think the smart thing is since it's an area of previous problem, yeah, uh, I have to re-biopsy it. That's the intelligent thing to do. So I have to take a little scraping from it. Okay. Well, there see, it just, I just honestly, I've only noticed it the last couple of weeks. That's why I came in, so I yeah. want to get yeah. on it quickly. Well, it's not going to go away with prayer. So we have to find out what it is and then make it go away. Okay. You know, otherwise, I think you look great. Well, thank you. Not bad. Wow. 70, hitting 71 in two months. Yeah, I think you look great. Yeah, you haven't done anything. Uh, Say that again. We're real up nice and close. I think you look great. I think he looks great. She looks great. They yes, look yes, great. I know. Everybody looks great. Yes, that's exactly it. Yeah. I think you look terrific. Well, thank you. Thank you. You haven't done anything crazy since I saw you last? Procedurally? Absolutely no. I think you look naturally very good. Well, thank you. Thank you. No, it's... Um, I'm pleased at... Where I am in life, yeah. I'm pleased with the way things are. I'm saying the overall shape, the color texture, everything is very good. There are multiple small crusty spots. Yes. All over. I know. From years of sun exposure, obviously. Now, in your business, yeah. is sun exposure keeping you busy? <laughs> It'll always keep me busy. The Thanks. last time I came in and you put that, whatever that chemo cream was on, it was great until about six days in, my nose blew up like a, like a, uh, like Rudolph. Like yeah. And of course the media got a picture of it. And so I decided let's just do a Instagram post <clears throat> and put it out there on the Instagram posts, you know, like effects of sun, of, uh, you know, exposure to the sun, wear your sunscreen. And the reception was so big, you're, you're numbing my little nose. You're tough. Because yeah, I, just, I, just scrape it. it because it, it, I, I numbed that over there and you didn't even wince. Yeah, I know. Yeah. All right. The same's going to be here. Yeah. Just a little. Trying to be gentle. Uh, uh, let me, let me, uh, I need two pure-ups. Let me have one for the scale. For all mm -hmm. you young people out there, wear sun protection. How old are you? 70. That's 71 in October. You really look fabulous. Well, thank you! Yes, yeah, you really do. That's why I come really to you. Yeah. That's exactly why and I come to you, Dr. Lance. That's why. I know. Yeah, yeah. I figure if I can biopsy the big one, it'll be representative yeah. of what the little colonies are. Gotcha. The colonies. I got a colony on the top of my yeah. head. So you see the, mm -hmm. the white areas from the anesthetic right. contracting the blood vessels, and then it actually shows you the island better. Oh, yeah. So it's outlined it a little bit better. So we care what this is. But you know, it's interesting. If this is an area that's had tumors before. Right. And cut out. And cut out. Um, the treatment we did actually worked very well because I can see there isn't a whole lot of any scar tissue. So this, I think, is what's called a de novo, new uh, cluster of skin cells that's probably in the squamous cell carcinoma in situ category. Well, that sounded good. Yeah, it sounds good. Yeah. yeah. So, so there are sun damage cells that are superficial. So if it is what I think it is, then um, it'll, we'll treat it probably the same way with a little bit of laser. Uh, not right. cutting and stitching. It'll be laser and um, a little bit of the uh, stimulatory cream. All right. Because I just don't want it to get worse. So I came in early. Yeah, we can't uh, ruin your good looks. No. God, no. No. All right, so you can hear it. Oh, I can hear it. Um, but let's just find out what it is. But the remaining area all looks really quite good. Yeah. And we'll do maybe the laser for the uh, red vessels. Why not? Yeah. Every time I come here, I look worse when I go out. Yeah, well, uh, you, have, you have to... Uh, you got to go backwards before you can go forward? It's construction. I got you. Construction. Okay. Have we enjoyed ourselves? Great. It's fabulous. I'm glad you came in early to biopsy the nasal tip because if it's in its superficial phase, it'll be much easier to treat. Yes, I totally agree. Because we would have, we I've only noticed it the last couple of weeks. Yeah, because we don't want a major event going on in the nasal tip. And you were my first phone call. Most people say that. <laughs> <laughs>
All right. Good. 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 All right, Dr. Lancer, thank you. Our pleasure. See you Monday. Wait, like this, I look worse now. There it is. Yeah. But the good news is it'll heal. And we're on it. Yes, we're on it. This is a lot of work. Anyway, wear protection from the sun. Hopefully it's Lumisol. Sophia's done a great job with the company, but <laughs> so when you get to be my age, you don't have to go through all this stuff. But anyway, the dermatology appointment is over for now. Now it's just about healing. Okay, now it's Monday. We are back at Dr. Lancer's. Yeah. Back at the dermatologist to find out uh, what the results are from my biopsy on my nose. See, this look a little better. And on the top of my head, to see what the treatment's going to be, this is a long process. Um, but anyway, uh, we're gonna find out the results. We're just waiting for Dr. Lancer to come in. Are we ready? Here he is, the Excite great one. Excitement coming. Excitement is coming. Okay, what is the diagnosis? Oh my God, look at this. You're putting on gloves. Uh, All right, so uh, what's right, the verdict? Uh, let me see. Uh, healing quite nicely, I must say. I do heal good. well. The, the results are? The results are on the scalp, the runner-up. Is, is the, the runner-up, okay. The runner-up is the scalp. So that is hypertrophic actinic keratosis means... Jesus, that's a big... You guys means, have big names for these things. Means that it's a big-named cluster of lots of sun damage that's barely invasive. That's why they're growing above the surface more than below. I got you. So uh, the ideal treatment for that is we'll... Freeze, freeze some them. of them, and then the rest of it needs to be done with light treatment called PDT. Photos now this is not going to make my hair fall out, fall out, because the last time we did something on these, you know, you said, "Oh no, your hair's going to be fine," and it wasn't. But anyway, that's a whole nother thing. Well, the hair's fine. Oh, I mean, it looks yeah. great to me. Okay. Well, uh, right. maybe it made the hair grow better. Yeah, maybe. maybe. Okay. Maybe. All right. So, so in any case, now the nose is called a squamous cell carcinoma in situ. Meaning, Whoa. it's a skin cancer that's not invasive. It's superficial. So it means that it's not a, the good news is, it means it's not a recurrence from anything before. That right. this is new sun damage that's developing in an area of previously treated sun damage. True. So we will rapidly laser that and then I'll give you the magic cream that you use twice daily for five days. Oh no, not that, that made my nose blow up last time. It's, it's the Rudolph look. It's, okay. Okay, but that's a whole lot better than what that could have been. Oh, well, okay. That would have been, it's sister diagnosis would have been bad news. So it just saves us a lot of grief. The last time you knocked all my hair off the top of my head, no, I did not. Oh, you did too. The icing, huh? I'm just getting the big, uh, big ones. The here. big ones? Yeah. The big one. The California expression. Yeah. Now, for the general public, you yeah. deal with this stuff all the time. Yeah. When it comes to sun damage like this, yeah. what's the most important thing? In the Just world keeping of, uh, an eye on it? Ouch. In uh, the world of, uh, I'm done abusing this area. See, and if, depending on how you style yeah, the hair, you, you can't the hair, see yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, anyway, um, probably 30% of the things we do in this office have to do with pure cosmetics. Probably 30% have to do with pure medical. And then the remainder has to do with some sort of uh, malignant issue, whether it's melanomas, squamous cell carcinomas, etc., etc., etc. In the world of sun damage, most sun damage starts in the first 5, 10, 15 years of life. Oh, yeah. Okay. So it's not just in the adult years. I must say, you're a phenomenal patient. Well, <laughs> oh, yeah. thank you. I must really say that. Yeah. Not all your patients are phenomenal. Uh, are no. Are they all crying? Oh, my God. Well, uh, a lot of the patients pass out. 
sometimes. Carousel! Uh, some of them uh, have to be given uh, cocktails. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. yeah, well, cocktails aren't bad. Yeah, well, maybe you should get a liquor license. <laughs> Maybe, maybe you should. You, you know, know, because just uh, in, injecting narcotics won't mm -hmm. help some yeah. people, but maybe a uh, martini. A martini, that does it. That'll do it every time. Right. So you see what I want to do is, if I numb it up, I can uh, uh, sort of like rake the leaves a little bit. It'll let the laser work a little bit better, and it gives me a second look right. at the tissue. This is it. On my YouTube channel, I bring it all. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Right. All right. Deep breath in. For anybody out there, if they see something, early detection, not letting it go. Well, there are people who call me just for the hell of it. Oh, I know, yeah. I'm sure I got a few in my family. Yeah. You have a whole bunch of yeah. family members mm -hmm. just calling me up to chat. Yeah, just to chat. You're not planning to broadcast this, are you? <laughs> 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 We're going on a YouTube channel, babe. Oh. Got it. Now you see, in the real world of dealing with it real things... It smells like burning flesh. So if I say something, something offensive, you can take it out? Uh, no, I leave that in. Oh, okay. Yeah, some people call this the Jesus procedure. Mm -hmm. That is bright. Yeah, there's a bright green reflection. Mm -hmm. Even when your eyes are closed and little shields are in place. Um, because there's a reflection of light that still stimulates the optic nerve. Vanity thing is a lot of it's work. It's a real huh? job. It's a full-time job. Right. So take a pee. Oh, yeah. Yeah. My God, you destroyed me. Yeah, so we'll let uh, this heal up and Good this thing and I this got and nothing this. else to do. You've done incredibly well. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm a good patient. You're the best. Yeah. Good. A charm. Uh, thanks, Doc. Have a good day. Bye. I'll go heal. <laughs> The saga continues. I'm done for today. Ooh, now I remember the last time I did this. This stuff, I mean, works really well. It also raises havoc with your poor little nose in about a week. All right, we're gonna let that kind of settle in for a while. And then we'll probably put a little Band-Aid over it, maybe a little Neosporin or, or uh, Accufor. Put a little Band-Aid over it. I gotta do this twice a day, so I'll do it again in the morning. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna spare you people, okay? You don't have to see this all the time. I promise you, eventually, I'm gonna do a glam video that I look absolutely fabulous. But for right now, we gotta take care of the sun damage. All right, I'm going to bed.